everybody. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is by far the most unattractive um, angle to be doing this. <laughs> and I'm sorry off the bat, I'm using my phone and I don't have like anywhere set up that I can put my phone. So this was just like the most convenient. Um, so I hope that's okay by everybody. So it is Wednesday, July 5th. It is 7.35 in the morning. And I am on my way to my 39 week appointment. So <clears throat> I figured what better time to give my update than right now because I can give you an official update on the appointment afterward to see where we're standing. Because if you did not see my last update video, and actually I don't even know if I talked about it. Um, my 37 week appointment, oh no, I'm sorry. My 36 week appointment, they checked me for dilation, which is like, kind of early for them to do it but they do it sometimes to make sure they want to make sure that you're still closed at 36 weeks which I was and then they didn't check me again until 38 weeks last week eight days ago it was last Tuesday and I was still completely closed which was definitely a bummer to hear so I am hoping and praying within the last week that I have made some progress because let me tell you I have done literally everything in the book as far as like natural na natural natural induction techniques but basically I just wanted to make this update video because there's not really much to update on except for the fact that I have been feeling like complete shit um, I, I definitely just wanted to talk about the end of a pregnancy and how I was fully unprepared to be feeling the way I've been feeling and it's really kind of shitty. So pretty much I guess I'll start out with like the physical feelings and one thing for certain I can say I've been feeling physically just drained. Um, I'm so tired all the time. I but I, at the same time, like I can't really sleep because I'm getting up so many times to go to the bathroom. Um, I'm also not sleeping very well because another physical thing I've been feeling are my hips are in so much pain. And I know I've been saying that, but I can't even stress it enough because to just say that my hips hurt is an understatement. Like I am in so much pain, sitting, standing, laying, walking, it just sucks. It's almost, it, it's crappy because it's almost like I've gotten used to it too. Like they hurt so bad all the time that I've gotten used to them hurting. But anyway, also I wasn't prepared for the emotions. Like anybody that I've talked to always talk about how they swear that their emotions were the worst at the beginning of the pregnancy because like your body is just making these hormones and getting used to them and things um and i honestly have to say for me it's been the complete opposite because in the beginning of this pregnancy i was cool as a cucumber i wasn't you know stressed out in the least bit i wasn't really like moody i was it was great i had no no complaints there and i have to say the last like Probably the last week, the last like seven or eight days for sure, maybe a little bit longer, I have just been a wreck. Um, I cry like every day just because of being uncomfortable and just like being over it and then also just because I'm emotional. Like I don't even really need a reason to be crying and I start crying. I also get mad very easily. I have gotten to a point in the pregnancy where like I just don't want to deal anybody or anything and to avoid anything coming of that I just like have been avoiding people so even like my friends if you're watching this if I didn't respond to your text it's probably just because I didn't want to deal with anybody it's not personal I just I, I get triggered very easily so people saying things especially along the lines of like when people ask me how I've been doing and I tell them well not great this sucks I hate everything and I'm just like this huge Debbie Downer and everybody's response seems to be you know oh well you know just 
just ride it out. You're at the end of this. I'll be here soon. It'll all be over soon, blah, blah, blah. And like, I get so sick and tired of hearing that because I'm not stupid. I'm fully aware I'm at the end of this. I am fully aware that this will all be over soon, but it still doesn't help the now. And the now being that like this just sucks and you know it's also just like really really easy for everybody else to say that because they're not the one going through it and granted like even if it's somebody who has kids and have been pregnant obviously who can say you know oh, you know it gets better because they get here soon blah 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 it's still it just doesn't help like I, I would rather people say nothing at all than try to tell me to basically get over it is because that's kind of how I take that I'm fully aware that I'm at the end of the road here and blah 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 but that being said to me just doesn't doesn't do anything but annoy me <laughs> I've also just gotten to a point where like physically looking at myself I just get very very depressed I between me like still growing and the fact that I definitely, I definitely over exceeded like my expectations in a very negative way when it came to my diet this whole pregnancy because in the beginning I was doing really, really well and I was making sure to eat light things and even if I was giving into cravings, like I wasn't going overboard and such, but I got to a point where the pregnancy hormones and whatever kind of overpowered my thought process in that, I guess you can say. And it became like basically where just I was fulfilling every craving sh completely shamelessly and I would absolutely 100% indulge. And I am reaping that. I have gained more weight than was number one recommended, which it, it's not like an excessive amount to where like the doctors have been concerned, but it's where like I've been concerned because now I'm going to have to work extra hard to get extra weight off that I wouldn't have even had to have worried about if, you know, had I just been more cautious. So that's frustrating. And also because of that, it kind of has an effect on mine and my husband's relationship. And not even necessarily like because of him, because he, he does nothing to make me feel, you know, the way that I do feel physically about myself at all. If anything, he really, he tries to lift me up all the time and tell me that I'm beautiful. And if I start like complaining about it, he'll, he'll just, he'll do everything he can to try to make me feel better. But it just doesn't work because I'm just stubborn and super pregnant right now. So... But with that said, I get so insecure, and again, this is like the, motion, the emotions being involved as well, that I start thinking of like the worst case scenario of everything, and that being that I'm so unattractive that my husband's gonna leave me, or he's going to hook up with somebody else, and it really is a stupid thought, um, especially coming from me, because I, I don't doubt my husband's love for me in the least bit and I have no real feelings that he would ever disrespect me in that way like I am very 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 I feel very secure in my relationship I know that things like that wouldn't be done so the fact that I'm feeling that way I know is because of the pregnancy but the fact of the matter is is that I do feel that way from time to time and there's just nothing I can do about it and that's basically just where I've been at for the last like almost two weeks now just pretty miserable and it sucks I'm dealing with it the best way that I can and that's pretty much that and I just honestly am at a point where I cannot wait until this is all said and done and I can just go back to being me and normal and not a complete psychopath <laughs> but I can honestly definitely say that I just wasn't prepared to feel this way at all like I really thought I don't know I thought the end would just be simple because it's the end and you're gonna be done with it soon but it's not the case so I am at Wawa I'm gonna get my coffee and then I will get back to you guys after my doctor's appointment which by this point I'm probably gonna be late too so <laughs> I'll see you guys in a second
I am seriously about ready to cry right now. <laughs> Trying really hard not to. My due date is in four days and my cervix is still completely closed. I have no dilation and on top of it, as if I wasn't already nervous, and I don't know if anyone has seen me mention in my previous videos, I was already kind of nervous that my son was going to be on the larger side because my family background, well, and my husband's side anyway, all their boys were quite large at birth where my mother-in-law had to have c-sections, which is like the very last thing I want to have to do. And <laughs> the doctor, without saying much, just said, oh, he's going to be a good sized baby. So not prepared per se because I'm not prepared for it at all but I'm almost positive he's gonna be late and I'm already so over this pregnancy <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do so with that said I am gonna go take a lavender bath and meditate because if I don't this is gonna be a really bad day <sighs> seriously Everybody just please wish me luck that something happens within these next few days Miraculously, I don't know. I've heard people go from zero dilation to four centimeters dilated in less than a week So please 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 keep your fingers crossed that this is coming to an end that my son will be here soon because as it stands It's not looking too good so Yeah Thank you guys for watching Remember to like and subscribe and yada 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 and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.